Hey, 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 this is Weiwei, and you have tuned into The Weight Show. How you guys doing? I so missed you guys since the last video. How about that? <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are sticking in with me and definitely liking and sharing and subscribing to my videos. I really do appreciate that. Y'all know here at Weight, it stands for we're all in this together, no matter race, creed, color. Here, you're free to name, say the name G. Jesus, you know, um, anytime. So uh, you don't have to say there's a power power or just say he or, you know, it's okay. You can say God, I promise it's fine. And still going about, you know, doing, you know, who God has created you to be. Amen. So um, real quick, let's go ahead and get these church announcements out the way. Yes, yes, yes. And I still have my tag. Uh, the, don't play with me. Let's <laughs> start real quick. So let's be getting ready to go to the grocery store, but we're going to do this show real quick and then we're going to head out. Okay. So you all know to definitely be trying to support your girl. Okay. You can always find me at theweightshow.com, right? If you have a PC or whatnot and you want to, you know, look at the shows or even what's going on with The Weight Show, go to theweightshow.com where real life meets Christ. And I'm telling y'all, I've had some real life experiences over this past week. But anyways, you can go to The Weight Show and here you can go um, see The Weight Shows that I've already previously done, you know, Step on me, you know, and you can also find out our Mended Hearts line, which meets every Saturday at 7 30. If you ever need the number, go there and you can see the number. Also, don't forget, you can always, always, always contact us. Okay, reach out. We love to hear from you. We're on all major platforms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and definitely on YouTube. So please, 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 please support your girl. Okay. Now, this is something special that I did decide to do. I decided to let you guys see how it is on the mobile app because a lot of people ask me, well, how is it access it on the mobile app. So I'm glad you asked me that. Okay. So on your mobile app, you know, you pull up your phone and like you pull up everything else, right? <laughs> and you put in www, uh, well, the weight show Dot com. Even if you want to put the www, if you want to, if not, you don't have to. Nowadays, you just put, you know, whatever it is that you're searching for, right? Most of the times. So then it pulls it up. There you go. How about that? So this is what it looks like on your mobile device. You can scroll down and see what's going on. You know, on my page, it's the same thing as it is on the web page. Here is a little bit different, okay? On your mobile device, click the three lines over this to the left. Then what you do is you see where it says the weight home, the weight show, mending hearts, contact, and shop. Y'all be prepared for that shop soon, okay? So right now, um, click on the weight show, and there you go. You're able to access all my shows, and it take you straight to YouTube, okay? So now, again, those three lines over here, you navigate it to where you need to be. How about that? Hey, hey, hey. So, this is way, way. And, and you can go to contacts. Once you go to contacts, you can see also an easier way to get in contact with just a message. Look at that. So there you go. So I hope you guys learned something today about how to access, you know, the weight show on all types of social medias. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Woo! When I tell you, it's a lot, but I love you guys. And I'm begging for your support. Yes, I am in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. But um, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Because I've been... Um, listening to um, a show called General Hospital. Everybody, some people know General Hospital is like um, a, um, it's not like it is. It is a soap opera. 
for a lot of people. You look at what, the young and the restless. It was it was a lot of them, you know. Um, as the world turns, um, it was uh, it was. I, I remember. I think it, I don't know. Was it potions? Potions? For something? Or something, something, but there's always been some some type of soap opera going on, really. Oh, and I have tea today because this is about to get good. So y'all get y'all a little drink, y'all a little tea, okay? This is tea. This is a detox tea that my Aunt Mary gave to me. So I'm trying it. So definitely going to sip slow, but I'm definitely going to sip on this tea. So because it is about to get very interesting. So I'm watching General Hospital. A thing came up. As in most soap operas, there's always, you know, an issue and everything like that. But what I appreciate about General Hospital is that at least it tries to include like real world, you know, situations, you know, in it. And in one of the real world situations in it is one of the characters' sons, okay, um, has been called out for maybe having autism, right? And it's this is this is very very enduring storyline to me, right? But also, like I said, God allows me to see things different in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. So, with that being said, right now, I'm going to share this clip, and this, this clip is going to play correctly and you're going to be able to hear everything <laughs> well lord we're gonna get this together i know we are so take a listen to this clip and then you know i have my little interjections in there you know as we go along okay Sorry. Because I... We're actively looking. All right. Um, should we bring the police? I think you guys might be looking for someone. Oh. Leo! Leo! <laughs> oh my God, Leo! I'm looking all over for you. You found him. Actually, Leo found me. He was waiting for me in the exam room where I gave him the tetanus shot because he wanted to tell me how much he liked his fidget spinner. Hey, hey, buddy. Why didn't you tell me you were gonna go over there? Because I... And Leo just goes missing, and as soon as we're about to call the cops, you just show up like you're the hero? Brooklyn. What? Austin treated Leo for the cut on his finger a few weeks ago. Leo liked him, so it makes sense that he would seek him out. I just wish you would have asked me first. Yeah, imagine that you do. It's just Leo being Leo. It is just Leo being Leo. Hey, Ned, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Can you keep an eye on Houdini here? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, so I have something here that I think you might get a little kick out of. You just kind of go like that, and then you go like that. That's pretty cool, huh? Her breathing is getting better. Anything to do with the LQ. You may recall that I asked Olivia to bring Leo back in to see me. I do. But Olivia thought Leo was okay, so I just took him to see his own pediatrician for the all clear. His finger seems to have healed up nicely. Yeah, it looks great. I didn't need to see Leo about the cut. Then why did you want to follow up? 
<laughs> I observe some behavior in Leo that I think warrants some attention. What behavior? Oh, no. Not at all. I just want to observe the kid a little bit more. Why? Do you think there's something wrong with Leo? I don't think there's anything wrong with anyone. I just... I think that Leo could really benefit from seeing a specialist. And what? Well, every human being is different, right? And every child is different because every child is different. And I've seen a lot of kids. And what I'm trying to articulate to you is that I think Leo would really enjoy learning a, a more effective way of communicating. At least discuss it with Olivia. Actually, I have. I have mentioned that uh, Leo's quietness, I guess you could call it, concerns me sometimes. Um, but Olivia, she won't hear it. Well, then, Cousin Matt, you need to try again, right? Because some kids really, really benefit from treatment. For introversion? If he's shy, then he's shy, right? But it could be something else. It could be a whole range of other things, and none of them are bad. In fact, this is great. What human being doesn't deserve the right to learn the skills that help them to connect to the world just a little bit better? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll talk to Olivia about it. Great. Tell her to reach out to me if she has any questions, and the same goes for you. Hey, and Ned. This has nothing to do with anything other than Leo. Nothing at all. Okay. Now see how she's reacting to, with to this news. Or with us. What's wrong? Leo had his follow-up appointment with Dr. Diamond today. Didn't go well? I don't like the guy. Dr. Diamond? Since when? But since he thinks there's something wrong with my kid. He was suggesting that I make an appointment with a pediatric neurologist. Believe that? Yes. I should probably... Leo March is his own drummer. So what? I don't... I... Uncle Mario. I didn't talk till he was five years old. Not a word. You know what happened? Creative people see the world differently, so they experience it differently. And I happen to think that that's wonderful. I agree. Not every kid comes flying out of the womb like Dante, all, all athletic and personable and ready to take everything that the world throws at them. That's not what I'm suggesting. Not, not every kid is meant to be a social superstar. And I think when you start turning it into a problem and they see you wringing your hand service. Yeah. Peter showed up in Nixon Falls. Oh, yeah. That's going on, Courtney. Look at this. Date night. Yeah, it must be really nice to just kick back and relax after a long day of sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Olivia? No, no, no. Okay. It's all right. It was not my place to say anything that it went about Leo. No, you're damn right it wasn't, but that didn't stop you, did it? Uh, anything to distract Ned. He'll use my son's unique personality. Unique or personality. Or Chase's broken heart. Why is that? I'm going to say this one more time. You stay the hell away from my kid. Mm. Now she's acting. She's this. I obviously don't speak for Olivia. Does anybody speak for Olivia? No. no. But after talking to another doctor, it appears there may be some merit to your concern about Leo. Okay. But still, I should have kept my mouth shut. And if I had, then maybe your daughter wouldn't be trying to get my medical license revoked. I'm sorry. What? 
Group one has issues to file for with this a medical license or whatever the case may be. Um, but all because of him pointing out an issue yes. with Leo. Yeah, I had no idea okay? that she would do that. And I wish she had And now everything um, is like a snowball effect because he decided to mention something that nobody and else wanted to mention, or even if they testicles. noticed something different about Leo. Excuse me. Y'all watch. I'm going somewhere with this. Hold on. My father called you? What happened with Michael and Willow and Chase? They're consenting adults. It's got nothing to do with me. But you're right. I do feel like crap about what's going on with Leo. Yeah, I can tell it's really bothering you. It is, because he needs help. He needs help. And as long as we're not judging people, I don't blame Olivia, but she's- Not judging listening. people. Maybe Ned will. I'm sorry, it's not enough like that. I understand. Do you? Ned, really, because, no offense, but um, you just come from a different class. Now, your family always reacts like this. Now, something even begins to present as a problem, and you just start throwing money at it. Send the kid to a billion... Maybe Leo doesn't need that. Maybe it's not a problem. Maybe, maybe Leo just needs to be his Leo self and do his Leo stuff in his Leo world because, because you know what? He likes it there. Mm. <laughs> I get what you're saying. I truly do. But hearing what another doctor has to say doesn't mean you're committing to anything or anyone. It's just more information to have. But don't you see? Now that's already calling it a problem. When I just see him as my son and, and getting a bunch of specialists and making appointments that's just walking down a road that I don't want to go down. Mm. She don't want to go down. So I do want to go, I want to go home. Well, then let's get you home. She don't want to go down that road. Don't worry, we're going to find him. Okay. It's a big hospital. He could be anywhere. So, that's pretty much... Yeah, that was it. She just wants to go home. Now, as you can see, you know, Leo was the little boy that, you know, they were saying that had issues, right? And, you know, Leo, he was a little boy that was having issues. And um, with being said, his mom, you know, that was next to him, did not want, you know, anybody to anything about her child so she became upset right hold on stop saying this so you understand the concept of what happened you know you, you get it you get it you get it now when i can say that this holds dear to my heart because they say that my son is also on the autistic spectrum and i reacted in the same way as she did when i found out because you don't want to know that there's anything wrong with your child or you don't want to to believe that there's anything wrong with you because you gave birth to the child. I'm going somewhere with this. Listen to me, guys. Now, listen. So she didn't want to accept it because then she's just like, you know, now if I accept this, then I have to go and get specialists. I got to see different doctors. I have to, you know, teach a new way, learn a new way. Like she just don't even want to think about that, right? As what everybody else is seeing around her like her husband, you know, saw like, hey, I noticed Leo is kind of, you know, you know, he's standoffish. She don't look people in the eye when he talks to you, whatever the case may be. And it seems like it's not a normalized thing. Okay. Now, who are we to say what's normal and what's not normal? I don't know. The way God made you is the way God made you. However, there are certain things that it seemed like to be normalized, like looking someone in the eye, you know, when you're speaking with them or trying to stay focused when you're talking to them, right? As you can see in the clip, Leo could not do um, either one really, you know, and that's a sign of autism as well as lining up things to be perfect. That's a sign of autistic. I mean, it's not saying that they're stupid, slow, or 
are dumb, let me tell you, because my son has like scholarships, you know, at the wazoo and he's in school and he works, you know what I'm saying? So he's doing amazing. You know, he can do all things through Christ who strengthens him. And anyone else who has, you know, a, a child or or any type of diagnosis that they say, okay, that, that your child has. But at any rate, she didn't want to do, you know, the, the the work or whatever. She just knew her child to be her child. Leo's just being Leo. Where everyone else is telling her, no, Leo is not just being Leo. Leo is having some issues. Now I got to get comfortable with this because check this out. Let's flip this and reverse it. What if, okay, we look at this in the spiritual realm. Yeah, I'm going there. I'm, I'm, I am going there today. So my thing is that we allow people to sit up in church and do whatever they want to do and just say, oh, that's just them being them. Sip on my tea. Right? Right. So the thing about it is that I liked about Dr. Austin, you know, the one who pointed out, hey, your child has a problem. I think your child, because I am a doctor and I notice certain things, I can say that I, I, I need to, you need to refer him to a specialist or talk to his pediatrician or whatever the case may be. But there's something worth looking at. Ha! Sometimes people cannot be corrected in the spirit or, or church people or Christians or whatever the case may be, or in church, they seem like they can't be corrected or whatever, because, you know, you're not God, you know, and it's like, that's what everybody, oh, no one can judge me. Only God can. It's not nobody's trying to judge you, but like that doctor said, you need help. Mm. Let me sip on my tea. You need help, help, okay? And the thing about it is that if if you're not willing or if you can't speak up for yourself, sometimes we're in so much bondage that we can't speak up for ourselves, that we, we just live in reckless and everybody sees it, you know, and everything like that. And we know, okay? We we know, the people around you know that you are, you, you are a child of God. You know what I'm saying? Forget Christian, forget all that. We, we know you saved, okay? We know that you have good in you. We know this, you know what I'm saying? And when we see all this and everything like that, but then you turn left, you know, like my brother, I love my brother. I got, oh, rest in peace, Wayne. I love my brother. But before we became to be loving adults, we used to fight head to head. Why? Because I used to tell him when he was wrong. He didn't like that. He was the oldest. He didn't want, he didn't want to hear that. He didn't want to hear nothing about that, you know? So then we would go, but then as he matured and as I matured and as we both grew in Christ, it was like, uh-uh, bro, you wrong for that, you know? And it's like, okay, okay, Nisha, you know, you know, you know, you know? And it's just like, okay, he, he's, he, family only calls me Nisha. You guys may call me Wei Wei. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I thank you. Um, but, you know, and it's just like, okay, you know, but the thing about it is that we grew up together. And my thing, if, if you grow up, like she said, you know, I, I used to watch him, you know, as he, he, as he grew up, you know, and everything like that. She didn't think anything was wrong, but now that things are being pointed out, it's like, oh, now that you mention it, you know, he is quiet, you know, talking about Leo, oh, Leo is quiet or Leo, he doesn't socialize that well, or Leo, oh yeah, now that you pointed it out, you know, sometimes it takes people to point stuff out. I can tell you who pointed out my attitude to me, my Aunt Lisa, because my aunt, I was nasty. Oh gosh, I was so mean after I had my son. I just, I just, I, I was. I, I, I'm telling y'all, I was, I was, who I probably used mean while I was pregnant. <laughs> I was mean. People knew me could contest to that. But it took my aunt, you know, to tell me, you know, look, you you got to fix this. If you're supposed to be representing the kingdom, you can't be walking around like this. You need to fix this. And did it fix it right away? No, because that made me even more upset because she's pointing out what I need to do so that I can make sure that I'm serving the kingdom of God. Right? How dare she? Let me sip on my tea. Hmm. But guess what? I got it right. I got it right sooner than later. I got it right. 
So sometimes it takes for someone to point things out to you, not in a negative way, but just like he needs help. Our churches, hallelujah, our worship centers, our whatever you want to call your building that you worship in with people sitting there, we need help. Hallelujah, because we keep allowing things to happen. We keep allowing and just keep overlooking, 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 overlooking. And then next thing you know, is you know, everybody keeps preaching and preaching, preaching the same thing, teaching, teaching, teaching the same thing, but nobody is changing. I mean, it's like millions of people hear the word of God, but how many out of those millions are actually doers of the word of God? I want to be a doer. I don't care about screaming and hollering and shouting and all that stuff and all that. I mean, that's nice. That's wonderful and stuff like that. But I want to do the word of God. If I do not do the word of God, it's, 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 I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, so y'all probably say she gets some chest, stuff off my chest, and I am. I am waiters. I got. I, I am. I'm just, it's just, it just seems like it's it's a lot sometimes for people to say one thing, but then do another. Like, it's like, I, I notice you have a problem, right? You know, nobody else maybe notices that, but because I'm a doctor mm, and I've noticed these symptoms, I want you to get help. And that's it. So people don't get upset when people try to correct you, the ones that know you and that are around you. Now, somebody that don't know you, don't know your spirit or whatever the case may be, they may make an observation, but someone that knows you or whatnot, they should be able to tell you, you know, hey, this is a problem. I, I think, I think we should fix it. But if you don't, that's on you. If you decide that you want to stay the same way, if you want to keep doing the same thing you're doing, it's been working for you and that's fine, then you keep doing that. But for the other people that are around you that want to grow and everything like that, then that's better than fine because they're doing what they're supposed to do. Even Jesus corrected. I mean, I'm just saying he did. So I want to bring up, this is going to be my seed that I'm going to sow because I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave this seed here. And my, um, I call her Aunt Vanessa. <laughs> um, she sends me messages, you know, every day, like uh, the word of God, you know, uh, um, uh, I guess a little daily bread or the word for today, you know, and the word for today, um, before I even got on here to do this, was deserve. And the, the message said, I, the Lord, search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. Their deeds deserve. OK, so with saying that, like if, if you are a friend then you deserve to receive friendship back. If you're love, you deserve how the, what their deeds deserve. That, that word deserve is, is, is there. Okay, so what you deserve, you get what you deserve. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. When it comes to the conduct, right? So they search the heart and examine the mind to reward each person according to their conduct. Thank you, Lord God. So if your conduct is saying, oh, I'm saved, I'm saved. Oh, if, your, if your speech is saying, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. But your conduct is saying, it's all about me, all about me, all about me. Well, guess what? According to that, that's what you're going to get. That all about me. That, that's what is going to blossom instead of God. Of showing the love of God, actually doing the, the, the word of God in your heart. You know, a lot of people do a whole lot of stuff. I mean, and, and it, then they want to say, well, God knows my heart. Yes, he does. Yeah. Search the heart and examine the mind. Thank you, Lord. Said reward each person according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. Some people don't understand why they're not moving up in the spiritual ladder. Some people maybe not understand why they're not going anywhere in life or whatever, because now it's time to re-examine. What does your deeds deserve? Do you get upset very quick because somebody's trying to explain to you of how to possibly be better? This is just the way is I'm going off of here now. Um, does, do you get you know upset or offended because somebody's like, hey, you should have took a right instead of 
taking a left, you know, or whatever. It's like, what, what, what does your deeds deserve? Do, do you show mercy? Do you show kindness? Do you show forgiveness? Do you show love? And I'm just saying that. I mean, do you show that? And, and what does your deeds deserve? Deed is doing something. What does, mm, okay, I'm going to go, you guys, because I I'm, I can stay here for a little bit. I really could. But I like to get to the grocery store early. Okay, guys. So with that being said, thank you. Minister Vanessa, a.k.a. Auntie Vanessa, for sending me messages and showing me the love and everything like that. Because a lot of times she doesn't know what I'm going through. You know, a lot of times when I wake up, it's just like, uh, sometimes I feel like, you know, I deserve much worse, but God said he's going to give me according to my deeds deserve. And be because I deserve and, and desire, I'm sorry, because I desire to be in the will of God and I show that, guess what? The deeds that I deserve is going to reflect that as well. So look at that. Okay, guys. I got to get out of here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little segment and just take a, take, a, take a look. Take a look. Look around. Look around you. You know, it's always something that, and it doesn't need to be harsh correction. I promise you it doesn't. It does not to be harsh correction. However, if you try to, uh, my suggestion is if you try to humiliate or hurt somebody's feelings in, in, in public, I think you owe them a public apology as well. That's, that's a wayism. That's just me. But what I can say is that you shouldn't have to hurt anybody's feelings. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're, if you're on here and we know that we're all in this together, then that you should know that we all love together. It's a way to approach people. It's a way to approach people. And there's a way for change. And the only one that can change is God. He's the only one that can change us. We we can't we can talk ourselves until we're blue in the face. Y'all know what I'm saying? But until God comes and intervenes or whatever, I'm saying you all you have to do is sow that seed and watch God do the work. And watch God, hallelujah, give you your deserve, okay? Um, of your your of your deeds, your deeds deserves, okay. So this has been fun, guys. So I guess, you know, start talking more about things that are more passionate to me and what's kind of going on around me in my life. So like I said, yeah. So guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful week. Don't forget that we love you. If no one told you that today, know that I love you. And always sow a seed. Because you some so okay, some water, but God, He does the increase. So keep doing what you're doing, keep pointing out things. Hallelujah, because there is going to be a change. All right. Well, I love you, waiters. And if there was no will, then there would be no way. Love you guys. It was kind of early, wasn't it? <laughs> That's fine. Love you guys. <laughs>